Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This will be part 38, and as always, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, if you remember, a couple of videos ago, we robbed a riverboat, and in a card game, this guy didn't have enough money to bet, so he betted his watch, and he won the card game by cheating. So we went up to a safe, stole all the money, and his watch. So, came back to this fence, see how much it was worth, and I think it was $185. In just case any of you guys are wondering how much that watch was worth. Look around here. Ain't nothing normal about any of it. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge, we hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. First come, first served here. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. 
Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur, Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Oh my goodness, we're actually going into the swamp. The alligator infested swamp. This is pretty much suicide. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company? Mr. Arthur. Check the traps okay, if an alligator bites my arm off, I'm killing all you guys. This one's empty. Alright, I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. How many of these uh, traps does this guy have? Stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Oh my goodness, we are chest deep now in gator infested swamp. Oh my goodness. Why would you do this for a living? I mean, doing this pretty much almost every night, like, eventually you're gonna die from an alligator. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not how it works in real life. If you just stand still, does that actually work? Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. I have a feeling that that Jewel's guy's probably dead. He probably got eaten by an alligator, fell off his boat. Alligator took him, he's just gone. Give me a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Why is it me? Why can't it just be Dutch for one time? I'm not trying to get my arm ripped off by an alligator right about here. Ooh. Okay, we're still good. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... 
No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Great, so now there's just this giant alligator just swimming around. It's gonna kill one of us. Hold up. Oh my goodness, they're traveling in packs. What is that, like three? Maybe four? My god, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, hell no. I'm not. Oh my god. I'm not going by myself. Why don't you go by yourself? Oh my. Well, I'm dead. Jules! In the tree! That must be him. Well, at least he's alive, but he looks scared as hell. Probably saw that big gator. Probably chase him up that tree if I had to guess. Hello? Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I fell. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Okay. Well, I'm I'm dead. I pressed that so many times this video, but I'm dead. To the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Just as you thought we were clear of that gator. Pull, boy. I'm looking around to make sure it doesn't get bit. I got it. Oh my goodness, I knew it. You go. God damn, I'm always going for him. Alright. Don't worry, Jules, I'm coming. Man, he's so far away. Wait a minute, isn't the boat loose? Can we just row over to him? Oh my goodness, see the size of that wave? Oh, that, that thing's huge. 
Dude, this guy's dead. He's gone. He went under, he's gone, he's dead. There's no way. Why don't you get out of that boat? Come find him with me. There he is. How did he get free of that? These are the gators get your leg, it's GG. They do that like turn or they like spin around. Oh that legs. That legs gotta get amputated, son. Shoot something. Oh my goodness, is this thing chasing me? I, I gotta turn around. Okay, that thing is freaking huge. Holy crap. There's no way I'm making it. Oh my goodness, this thing's huge. I'm focused on the boat, I'm trying. Oh my goodness, I'm about to be out of stamina. Oh my gosh, don't pass out. I'm out of stamina, please don't pass out. I'm so close. Come on, keep rolling over here. Don't just look at me and roll, god dang it. Okay, where's the gator now? Oh, there it is. Alright, time to activate this dead eye. This gator's gonna go down. Never mind. I forgot that I only have a revolver. This thing's gonna eat all my revolver bullets. Just watch. Come on, Dutch, keep shooting with me. Oh, okay, let's have a shotgun. Come on, shotty. Come on, do something. Oh, don't shoot me. It's growling. It's angry. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Man, there's no way we're saving that leg. I think my calf being amputated. I don't know. I'm not a doctor or anything, but you need to put pressure on back in like the 1800s, they used to amputate a lot of stuff like that. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Man, this monster is just relentless. I got pulled the shot at you. That's what scared off last time. Oh man, come on, well, okay, this guy gotta stop rolling right towards it, you gotta like roll a little bit away from it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus, can we get back now? <sighs> You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules, guess all them stories was true. Big and man. That's yeah, unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Uh, thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. Hey, 
take me to doctor? Oh, oh. You gotta. Oh, you gotta. Please, do something. I'll get you help. Uh, Stay alive. Okay. Okay. I wonder what happened to this guy, but I'm just trying to do my good deed of the day. We are all in the bio, so it could have been a gator. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Right here. And sit him down in this chair. Oh, man, he's about to get amputated, isn't he? You see that saw on that table right next to the chair, right? What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but... I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Oh, God. Am I allowed to uh, show this on YouTube? Sorry it's come to this. Oh man. Okay, you can't really see anything from this angle. I should be alright. What if I go to this angle? Oh yeah. Oh man, you really see it all in there. Oh, he's halfway there. He's getting down to the bone. Hey, it's out. Oh, that's disgusting. So, Dutch. What's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys gotta prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. Well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Okay, at least I have my rifles this time. That'll help. Okay, well, I have a shot on these two, so might as well take them right. Alright, let's mark that guy, mark this guy. Anybody else think those are the other? Let's go. Look at these fools running out with no cover. Look at you guys. Look at you. Alright, there you go. 
Not as smart in using cover. Now, I'm not sure how many armed guards that he has, but we're gonna mow them all down regardless. Especially when I get all this dead eye fortified. That's one. That's two. Where's the third one? That's three. Three headshots. They keep coming out of that door up there. Oh, right through the fence or whatever that is. The railing. Another headshot. I'm mowing all these guys down. All these paid gunmen don't do anything. This guy behind the pillar has been really pesky. He's eating all my bullets. Ah, I missed the dead eye. Headshot, there we go. Probably in his bedroom. Just like that other, uh, Bront? Uh, not Bronte, the, uh, inbred people. Lady, person. Braithwaite, right? Shoot that lock, Arthur! Good! Now take that damn door in! We got more inside. I wonder what this gun he just gave me. It's like a shot or something? Oh, I can't get the second guy. There we go. Two quick headshots. Two quick heads are just blown off. I, I see over there. Quick, quick hiding. Oh my goodness. The guy's just getting mowed down. This is embarrassing. This gun is OP. This thing is one shot. Oh, you dropped the gun. I'm on ammo. Back to the pistol. Another great kill cam. Oh no, I'm looting. Hold on, let me loot this guy real quick. Then I'll get to you. Wait, but I gotta pull out a gun first too. Here we go. Hedge. Oh my goodness. His head's gone. He's flying through the window. Oh, look at this guy camping back here. Sit down. He's got to be in one of these rooms. All right, I'm gonna start check this one first, since it's the closest one. Oh, gee, am I out of shotgun? I got pulled the rifle. Oh, he shot me. Come on now. How many bullets are you gonna need? There we go. Finally. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. $155. I'll take that. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Okay, let's see the officer right here now. Ah, uh, so shaky, especially with a guy in my back. Still got the headshot, still got the body shot. Alright, dead eye time. Got one. Got two. I actually got two of them down. I didn't kill any of them. I got the last one shot though. Gotta reload. Oh, it's so shaky. There we go. Okay, I think. Nope, a couple more back there. Another great kill cam. Oh, so I got behind. Uh, where is he? Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Behind the pillar. That guy ate so many bullets. Okay, there's only one more. You guys got him? I got him. I gotta kill everybody. Oh, look at this guy. Just hiding back here. from where I'm sitting. You're the one deserving a pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men. All your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me? I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth! has got to be disposed of! Oh, Our friends, the patronets, oh. are gonna come and rescue you, you uh, repulsive uh, little maggot! Uh, oh. 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 Call them now! You call them! Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. Good goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Okay then, I'm going to wrap this video up right here, hope you guys enjoyed and remember to hit that like button.